In today's video, I want to talk about the common goldfish. There's a big misunderstanding about the differences in types of goldfish like the common goldfish, the comic goldfish, and I kind of just want to do a deep dive in helping people learn about this fish. Hey there guys, my name is Chris and I am a fish aquarium geek. I'm literally covered in aquarium tattoos. I have thousands of educational videos on the fish aquarium hobby and also in the houseplant hobby. So if any of this interests you, please consider subscribing and like the video and always feel free to comment below because that's why I do these videos I'm trying to make more friends so chances are you're somewhat new to the aquarium hobby and you're doing some research on keeping the common goldfish this is great that you're doing research so props to you and I want to be honest with you guys I'm gonna give you guys the truth I've been in this hobby for over 10 years and I feel like you deserve it and I just want to be honest and upfront with you guys First of all, I want to say that the common goldfish is somewhat hard to take care of and also this fish is not desired in the aquarium hobby. I mean, there's a reason that the fish costs 27 cents at your local fish store and what happens is this fish is usually only kept by ultra beginners. I told you guys. I'm going to be honest with you. So for starters, the common goldfish comes from the carp family. And if you know anything about carp, maybe you've seen them in your local riverways, but they grow absolutely massive. So you got to ask yourself, if a fish can grow over 12 inches long, why are they selling it in a fish store? And why are they like commonly keep, why are people commonly keeping them in bowls? Like how common, like they literally call these bowls goldfish bowls. And a lot of times people buy these common goldfish to put in the bowls. It doesn't make any sense. I think what mainly happens is a family walks into PetSmart or Petco or just any big box chain pet store and the children want a fish aquarium setup, you know? So they're like, uh, I don't want to do this. I don't know how to do it. And what they do is they start small. They're like, well, the goldfish is 40 cents, you know, because the aquariums or the bowls are expensive. We got to get the food. We got to get the light. And the parents are exhausted. So they get the cheapest fish and they get all the supplies, but little do they know that they're not educated on this fish. The common goldfish, or also known as the comet goldfish, uh, they're very similar. Like the tail type is literally the only difference. And what they don't know is these fish grow a foot long and their bio load, if you don't know what a bio load is, that's the waste that the fish gives off into the aquarium water. Usually within a couple months, the, the tank is just imploded with ammonia, the fish dies, and it's usually more of a sadder story than just like doing the research and just doing it correctly. Like, it kills me inside. When it comes to taking care of the common goldfish or a lot of these similar single tail goldfish, uh, you're going to need a massive aquarium. So like I was saying, these things can grow up to a foot long, some of them larger. And that equates to us needing a massive aquarium because they give off a huge bio load. Like uh, these are pond fish. If I'm being completely honest, these should go in a pond with koi fish. But if you absolutely need to keep them in an aquarium, I would say nothing smaller than a 75 gallon aquarium. And that's on the small side, guys. I would advise, uh, personally, a six foot long 125. And if you're watching this video and you already have the Comet Goldfish and you're at home and you're like, man, this kind of sucks. Like I was uneducated. Don't feel too bad, you know. Uh, there's two options for you. You can either keep the fish and plan to set up a pond outside in the spring or maybe buy a massive aquarium. And also, you know, because with a massive aquarium, you're going to need massive amounts of filtration, uh, an expensive filter. Some of them are over $200. And also, um, you're going to have to be doing water changes. So your water bill could go up. You know, a, a lot of uh, massive goldfish keepers, they're changing water like probably once every two weeks. And on, and on, on a 100-gallon aquarium, a 40% water change, that adds up over time. And it's a lot of work, too. So I don't mean to entirely sound like a Debbie Downer when keeping common goldfish as pets because there are tons of awesome, amazing goldfish keepers and I see them in my Facebook group. There's thousands of them. And if you're looking for info or just people to hang out with, please join Goldfish Keepers. We're the largest Facebook group on Facebook. So as I was saying, if you already brought home a common goldfish, you have two options. You can just deep dive into keeping it, but keep it right. Keep it correctly. Get yourself the correct setup or just bring it back to your local fish 
start. It's really that simple. Nobody likes to do it, but they will take back the fish. So the aquarium setup that you need for a common goldfish is something massive. Uh, it's not that keeping the goldfish is hard. It's just that they grow so large so that you just need more water and a larger setup. So like I was saying, a large aquarium, you're going to need a large filter. You're going to need a good system to be changing the water because that's what that's something that a lot of people don't think of. You have to change a percentage of the water in the aquarium every so often. Maybe you can master aquarium plants in an aquaponic setup, but what happens is you need to be removing the nitrates that the fish gives off in the aquarium, and the, there's only two ways to do that. Get rid of the water and add new water, or to use plants to consume it. And again, guys, I'm not trying to come across as overly harsh when keeping the common goldfish as a pet. I just feel that it's super important for people to be educated on how to properly care for this fish. And if you want my honest opinion, I would choose a different type of goldfish. There's a lot cooler of fancier goldfish that stay smaller and they don't grow a foot long that you'll have a lot better luck keeping. Well guys, thanks for checking out the video on taking care of the common goldfish. Uh, hit me up in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys and consider subscribing if like this fish tank thing, if you're really passionate about it because I absolutely love this stuff. I have 60,000 subscribers on my main channel, Palmer Aquatics. Please consider subscribing. I love you guys. You got to hit me up in the comment section though. Um, like, are you researching the common goldfish? Did you already bring one home? Um, I just, I love hearing the situations that you're in. I guess until further ado, check out the videos. Uh, I have super cool videos on my channel. So please subscribe guys. I know you're going to love it.